Hi, I'm Mel and welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. I thank each and every one of you who has subscribed so far. And if you subscribe today, I thank you too. Please make sure to push the notification bell because I don't just post on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays at 6pm uh, GMT time, so UK time. I also post the occasional bonus video such as a collab or open invite with some or one of my YouTube friends. I hope you enjoy. Today I'm going to share with you two easy summer well actually you could probably do them the whole year round but summer related i really want to start i bullet journal anyway i plan i guess a daily planner each day and i really want to start doing more bullet journaling it's like creative and a good way of ending or starting the day so i'm going to do two ideas today with you and all i recommend is an a5 book but or this is just paper to put in my file effects and i don't know if you can see that but it's squared it's like dotted so it makes squares and i just i personally just work better with the dotted squared paper because i don't know why that's all, all i've learned to do bullet journaling 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 on so that is why i use squared paper you can use any paper you want and i recommend a5 size it's perfect you can put it in your handbag you can keep it by your bedside whatever you want and the only other thing I've, i would recommend is like a ballpoint black pen and then whatever color sharpies or felt tips you want it doesn't matter or if you don't want to use felt tips you can use like biro paper mate play paper mate pens can't talk today so yeah i'll show you these two now and i hope you enjoy Okay, so using one first, and this is gonna be what makes me happy. And all you need to do really, you can even Pinterest ideas, that's a really good way of starting, but you need pages like this that are gonna help you. You know, you can go back to them and remind you. So all you need to do is, I'm gonna start with my ballpoint pen, and in the middle, I'm gonna put things that make me happy and then all you go with is multicolored whatever colors you want so I just get out whatever colors you want to be fair I probably pretty much use all of these colors Lovely colour till and the purple. Basically you get the gist, it needs to be bright and colourful. So all you're gonna put in and then just gonna fill in like the gaps basically. So this is gonna be
so this is the finished page um it's pretty much got everything on it obviously i've got a bit a few gaps here if i want to fill in with little words but you can leave it like that or you can decorate around here um around the middle but i think i'm actually going to leave it like that because i quite like it all colorful and obviously there's random stuff on there but if it makes you happy then why not um so that is what i've put on there and that's my first page now we'll go on to my second um and go from there but yeah that's what it's really cute and easy and that's why i like it so i have put that one up there for now and then for my next page it's going to be a mood tracker i'm going to do it this way because you fit more in and the only other thing i'm going to do is get a ruler out because i need one and where did the other pen go did i put it away yeah so you need your it's raining you need your black ballpoint pen again and then you just want to write mood tracker and then you want to put what month it's for so we're in the middle of june right now so this is just going to be an example for you because this is going to be an example because obviously it's halfway through june and all you need to do is pick a color pen or you can pick as many colors as you want but you're going to just draw along here 30 dots uh, there's probably more than that so I'd go 60 dots if there is let me count it get a pencil Okay, so there's 40, so let's do it as 30 dots. And you want, well, 31 dots because whatever month you're doing, basically you need the, um, a dot a day. So it's 30 for this month. So you just want to draw a line. You can draw it straight on with pen or with pencil. You want it a little bit up. So I've gone three dots up so you can write like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Basically. Then, so you can see that I've done that in pencil. And then you want to basically want to do it in pen. But I just did it so I could count the dots. But you can do like one of these a month, uh, like a month, basically. So there is your line and so then you just want to go obviously leave one at the front do the dates along the bottom and just be careful not to smudge the end like I just did so I, I'm probably just going to just oh bottoms don't do that I'm just going to leave it longer just because then is it oh I still need that keep your ruler out just want to get the smudge off of it so okay then whatever day it is that evening you would mark off so it's the 16th today well let's do it for the 15th because the 15th was yesterday and my mood was pretty good so draw a line however high you want however the highest it is the higher your mood was so the better your mood was and then pick a color they did it all in yellow the one i saw but i kind of like pinks and purples so i'm gonna do like pink flowers and then all i'm gonna do is draw the flower on like that and then if you want, obviously you've got to be careful, but you can just draw some small leaves on it, up, going up. Just to have fun. I'd advise you drawing the, the line and obviously doing the template for the summer 
as well just so it, obviously then it doesn't smudge but then also it's really cute is if you wait for that to dry and then overlap it and again with same with the um, leaves so then I'll just do some more for you so you can see um, obviously they're super close together so if you have got longer paper you it would be good <laughs> it would be like better not better but it's really raining I think you see the gist of it now. Um, I just think it looks really pretty and imagine once the page is all full. I'm not gonna lie, they're probably all like number three at the moment and really low um, for how I'm feeling, but there are some good days as in Thursday was amazing, so I think it was Thursday. Thursday or Friday? I think it was Thursday. So yeah, but look how cute that looks and it's perfect for a mood tracker. The only thing I'm gonna do now is go over the top. Like I've, so it's got like the, both the colors. And there we go, there we have our mood tracker and I can't wait to fill the rest of this out so here's this one which is the things that make me happy just how bright and colorful that is just makes me happy to be fair um but yeah and then this is my second one which is my mood tracker and I think that's really cute too obviously I'm gonna sneeze obviously plan this out before you do it so then they don't smudge and obviously they'll dry before you do the next one i was just doing it as an example for you but i think that's really cute and i cannot wait to finish that and that is it for today's video please give it a big thumbs up comment down below if you bullet journal if you'd like to what was your favorite bullet journal idea for that i picked today was it the things that make me happy or the mood tracker I thought mine would be the things that make me happy, but I absolutely love the mood tracker. So I probably have to go with the mood tracker with the flowers. So, but they are both really nice. So yeah, and thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in for my next video and see you soon. Bye.